All right, so I figured I'd go ahead and give everybody, including the goats, a tour of their uh, their new pen. So, come, come. So, we had this pen made, or we made this pen two years ago. And it was plenty enough for the two goats that we had. But as we got more and more, obviously you need to expand your pen. So you could definitely tell where there's some spots that need to be repaired as well. And this is one of the first fences that we put up. This is the end of the pen from one end to the other. And as you can see, there was just, just a line, just nothing. So now we have expanded it all the way into the back and all the way around where it meets up with the duck pen. Now we still have some work to do on it. We just ran the lines last night, but uh, we also ran it up against the trailer house and we still have some skirting to put around the trailer house to keep them out from underneath there. But with all of this stuff, all of this, I can't imagine that they're gonna get up underneath the trailer and cause any damage. I mean, they can surprise me, they are goats. So this is all their new pen. They went from a few large trees and a, what, 50 foot by 50 foot paddock to all of this, all of this shade, these poplars. There's even a little, well, overflow, water overflow, where the water collects for the ducks. Here we are. And y'all know what the duck pen looked like. It was decimated. So, now they can have all free reign of all of this. Hello ducks. We are going to put some fence across the front of the duck pen so we can keep them, you know, in this area for a while in the morning so that way we're not finding eggs all over the place. But yeah, all of this all the way back to the corner. Kiki's following me around, making sure I don't get lost. Plenty of poplar, plenty of wild roses. There's even a pretty large spruce for them to eat on. They love spruce. Probably lots of poison ivy back here too. I've seen some wild strawberries and some, some wild asparagus. I've been keeping an eye out for rhubarb to pull it up, but haven't seen any over here. There we go. It's easily three or four times as big as what their original area was so hopefully between the two the two critters the ducks and the goats they'll be able to eat on that for a real long time there we go they finally realized the fence was down i wonder how much of this is going to get cleared this year I said it's pretty weeded over but then again 
two years ago. This looked exactly like that, and now it's like, once we clear all these trees away, it'd be a nice lawn, actually. And Kiki's still making sure I don't get lost. Meow.